The speed grade, which has a strong presence in Bentley's lineup, has become firmly established. As the name suggests, this name, which is used for a model specializing in speed, may have a strong impression that it was first introduced to the world with the Continental GT, which appeared in the 21st century, but it is an old company that has been in business for over 100 years. There are also precedents for the early models. Now, when I saw this Bentley flying spur speed, I thought, here we go again orders for the 6LW12 engine model have finally ended, and production will end early next year. Recently, this pattern of orders ending has become very common. Large displacement engines and those that cannot meet exhaust gas regulations will be rolled off the line in order to prepare for the coming age of electrification. Bentley's W12 twin turbo engine is, of course, a power unit developed by the VW Group. It had a narrow angle V6 engine connected horizontally rather than vertically, and although it had 12 cylinders, it was relatively compact. As many as 12 explosions occurred during one revolution of the crankshaft. No, it's a four stroke, so 12 times in two revolutions. In any case, it is characterized by a precise rotation that can be said to be the opposite of a motorcycle's single cylinder engine, which explodes with a bang. But in the future, electric motors will become stepless, so is electrification the ultimate evolution? Anyway, this time, let's immerse ourselves in the dynamic feel of the ultimate internal combustion Bentley. It's not because it's speed, but the current third generation flying spur model is fast in the first place. In fact, it can be said that it is the sportiest driving model in Bentley's four-door model history. I believe that the core of this is the 8-speed gearbox which has changed from a torque converter to a DCT. There is no way that the DCT's seamless shifting and the W12 engine's smooth rotational feel go well together. This is what impressed me once again when I started running this time. Regardless of the engine speed displayed on the digital dial, if you put pressure on your right foot, the 2.5 ton body will push forward smoothly and silently. The maximum output of the W12 twin turbo engine of 635 PS remains unchanged from the previous generation flying spur W12S. In terms of power, it probably means necessary and sufficient. I don't think Bentley's worldview will change even if it actually reaches 700 PS. After the W12 is gone, the heart of Bentley will be the 4LV8. This one also boasts a maximum output of 550 PS. So there is no shortage, but the texture as the rotation increases is different. In contrast to the V8, which uses a turbo to increase speed vividly, the W12 is characterized by a naturally aspirated feeling of condensation that accelerates as much as you step on it. Considering that it is a product of a high-end brand, the retirement of the W12, which has a quality that goes beyond its numerical value, is a real shame.